people, it is Sherry Moulton. I'm back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed Wednesday's video. Loved how that turned out. So, um, just to let you know, Wednesday I was not feeling well. My vertigo was horrible. I couldn't even move. I actually sit in my recliner and I, that's where I spent my day. I didn't even go to work, which was horrible for me. So, I am, um, at awry for a video for today. Today is Friday. So I came down here today and I'm like, okay, I've got paints left over from the other video and we're going to use them up. So we're going to do another video like I did on Wednesday with the um, 10 by 20 inch canvas. I got to go get my push pins and we're ready to go. We're doing a different colored base. We're going to do, I made this color up with, um, Pebbio's iridescent blue, iridescent green blue. Oh my goodness. Artist Loft light blue. And then I threw in what had left here of my Dutch pour white. So that's where my base is coming from. And I'm going to get myself my push pins. We're going to get you down and we're just going to get into this guys. And I'll be right back. Just give me a couple seconds. Okay guys, before I bring you down, I had to take the push pins out of this painting and I wanted to show you. This is the black background with those enchanted paints here. I'll grab one of the bottles, they're right here. These enchanted paints by Deco Art. I did all of the colors in here. They're basically a pearl white color. And then when you put them on a dark background, they turn into a color. So I did put a coat of varnish on this. Not resin, varnish. Not everything needs to be resin, guys. If you can't afford resin, a nice gloss varnish is beautiful. So I just thought I'd show you that. It turned out pretty nice. All right, so let's get into today's project. And I'm so sorry about no bling bling last week, and there probably isn't gonna be one this week as well. Um, I'm gonna be at my trailer and we're going to do how to dry your flowers. That'll be Sunday's video. So I'm going to bring you down because I've got my push pins in. I got my canvas all ready. Again, I'm, this is a 10 by 20 inch canvas. And there we go. I'm going to flip up my monitor so I can see you guys. And we're just going to flood it like we did before. And this color is amazing. I use, Like I said, I used these three to make it. So I wanted to have that iridescent in it, but then I was like, oh no, I wanted the iridescent in those. So I, that's why I threw all the other colors in it to um, maybe tone it down a bit. This might not turn out nice. I have no idea. That's what it is with Welcome to Sherry's Channel, and we're going to experiment. I'm just going to move this around. Look at that. All right, I'm going to grab out my Drew Barrymore dryer. Thank you, Sandra. I'm going to blow most of this off. That was the, the key with this. You don't want a big puddle of paint, so you don't lose all the colors you're putting in. I'm pointing because they're up front. But that's why you want a, just a thin base coat here. Woo! Whoa, this thing's powerful. one corner. All right, here we go, guys.
See, I don't want that big puddle of paint in the center. There we go. I christened my blow dryer. I put it in there twice. I'm just going to wipe the end off. Got to keep it looking clean. At least it's kind of the color of the blow dryer. I'm just wiping the end off here, guy. Guys, guys, guys. There we go. All right. I'm going to put that away. I'm going to touch up my corners because it wouldn't blow over the corners for some reason. So, yes. You've seen how much I blew off. You do not want a lot on here. You just want enough so that you're covered and that you can put your splats on there. All right. I'd show you the painting, but I took it to work yesterday and I forgot it there. So I did make a little couple of different additions. This is the orange. I'm gonna label all of them. Um, I don't remember what paints they were, but they're the exact same paints I had in the other painting, so I will put them in the description box. They were mostly those Arteza um, metallics, but I did add this into that orange. This is um, Cadmium Red Light Hue from Liquidex Basics. I did add <clears throat> the Peblio Studios um, Opaque. This is the Rose... Oh my goodness. Opaque Vivid Pink. Wow. Iridescent. And I added the Iridescent Violet Blue. That's what I was thinking it was, and I was reading the wrong. <laughs> and then in the green, I added a bit of the Pebbio Studios <clears throat> Iridescent Green Yellow. But these two more or less look the same. So I might just We'll see. All right, so we have the dark green. We have the ultramarine blue. We have the purple contraption. We have the silver. We have the yellow, and we have a lighter blue and a dark green and a Aztec gold. Not Aztec gold. It is Arteza, just gold. Okay, with that, we're going to get into this. All righty, we're just going to splat some paint, and I... Just hit that. All right. Again, no ream, no rhyme, no reason. I find the high, if you go up high and just slap down, you don't get those little tails. And it's nice to have the little splats because you can leave them behind as kind of like Decoration, I guess. I don't know. Would that be the word? There we go. Let's get some of this pink. So I thought I would brighten up the colors a little just because it's not a white background. Put a little on top each. Maybe. Holy moly. And this is why you don't want a lot of paint on that on the base to start with because you don't want this to sink, right? You want to keep these up straight and... I love this orange, how bright it turned out. So today you're going to see the video, but you won't see it dry. And you will see that on next Wednesday's video when I come back. All right, 
let's try the purple. I kind of like the more the more splats. And you can leave that as kind of sort of like a background, right? some of the dark green and I had to adjust add water to some of it which I'm going to do a little bit more to this green because it's quite thick just a little bit of time because <clears throat> you want it to be thick but not so thick that it won't come off the stick there we go And maybe a little bit more. Wow. Yeah, I thought I'd do another one instead of not being able to use the paints. There we go. Would be nice to use up the paint instead of throwing it out or not being able to use it. Because I forgot and had it sitting down here. There we go. Let's get some of this nice bright green. Oh, that looks pretty against that blue. And again, I'm not worried about the little lines. It doesn't have to be perfect, as you've seen in the other video. I just want to get some of this color on because this color will shine beautifully. All right, and this blue. No, it looks like a mess, eh? And you can take your time, you can be strategically, you can put these like I did on the other one, put color on top of the color. For some reason it's not wanting to work today. Oh, there you go. And move on that yellow. And we'll do some silver. I liked the silver as the little dots because I had them on the other one. I noticed there was quite a few of the, <clears throat> the little dots on the edging and it gave it a pretty color. Okay, and I already did the yellow. Let's do some gold. Ooh, that was some. It's the thing, if you make some blobbies, you can just like a, go through it with your little stick. Okay, I'm going to come back with a little more of this orangey because I really like that. And some more of that dark blue. I just want some darker colors in here. And some more of this green. And then I think that we are done. And then we can play with making it look like flowers. Yeah. Perfect. So I have an array of these silicone 
pens, whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to use the one I used last time. Worked quite well. I will link these in the description box. And we're just going to go through. Look at that. Go wherever you... And it's kind of neat because they more or less turn into hearts when you're And this is why you want the paint a little thicker. And I wouldn't go over them too much because then they become muddy. Like once you've gone through those, I don't know. That's too funny. My brute force just pulled that right out. That is hilarious. I'll have to fix that. We'll just use this one. Same idea. So let's see. So you kind of want to go where you haven't been before. to the unknown like Star Trek. <laughs> Oops, actually I want to bring that in there. So all these funky ones that look funky you can fix. drip together. Oh, I think this is such a pretty idea. Like this guy here looks a little weird. So let's get, let's do what we did last time. I'm going to take a little bit of this green, dip my little silicone in it, and then come into it and add a little, is it, a, is it called a stamen? Is that what they call it? All right. Perfect. when I'm concentrating on quiet. Get this gold thing fixed here. There, that's a little better. And just stand back and look at the blobs that you've made and see what you might want to make. Look a little prettier. Okay, let's bring it this way. Make him look like he's added on to this guy. There we go. Let's go through this. I want to look to see if I have any major blob because if I don't I think I am done let's do this something here I don't like this purpley the way it is I, 
just like how they look like little hearts. I think it's kind of cute. Let's do something here. We'll bring this like that. Ah, there we go. Oh, guys, you see any more blobs that I might need to fix? That's what I like about it. It's just, it's so abstract that it don't matter what it really. I'm going to fix something here. Let's see if we can. Yeah. And go through here. And you don't have to drag it all the way through either. Just enough to give it, break it up that little blob. Let's see what this gold. There. Perfect. I'm going to leave it because I don't want to... Oh, maybe one more here. Famous last words. There. Perfect, because I do like the splats as well. All right, I'm going to bring you down for a close-up, guys. And I think this turned out amazing. And I have enough more paint to do another one. <laughs> maybe we'll try a different background. Maybe we'll do it on black and see what it looks like with black. Maybe that'll be the next one. All right, guys, so I'm going to put you on pause so I don't make you dizzy, and I'll bring you right on down. Just give me a sec. Here you go, guys. I'm going to flip you this way. That just looks so pretty. I love this idea. Now you can play around and add more to the bottom, make it look more like stems, but I think it turned out cute. So there you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's quick video. Um, Again, I'll show you the dried results at the end of Wednesday's video. So with that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that button up there so you can get <clears throat> notifications when I have my next video. And if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. And with that, I'll link everything I've used in the description box. And also I have the links of all of my affiliates. I'll go through my little spiel. So I have the links, <clears throat> sorry, and a discount code for where to purchase Fundy Molds. I have the links and, sorry, the links to where to purchase Julie Cut's molds from Pour Your Heart Out. I also have the links to Let's Resin with a discount code of Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. I also have the links to where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass. I have my new discount code for Crystal Resin with a discount code of Sherry Molten 5, capital S. I also have the links to my two amazing Lares distributors, the amazing Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Check out her website. Use my discount code of Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my glitter guru, um, my American Lares distributor. Check out her website with my discount code of all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. And with that, I have my PayPal link in there if you choose to donate. And I also have my Amazon shops, which I'm an affiliate with. So with that, my amazing people, hope you have an amazing day. And I will see you on Sunday with how to dry some flowers. Have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.